It's a day a lot of us have been waiting for. Steinberg have decided to finally get rid of their dongle, the copy protection system that's been used by Steinberg, VSL and other companies since the days of the Atari ST. So does this mean we can finally go dongle free with Cubase and how easy is it to install and what's their alternative to the copy protection of the dongle system? Let's take a look. So if you are buying the update to Cubase Pro 12, say from Cubase Pro 10.5 or Cubase Pro 11, um, you have to enter a code into the e-license control center. Um, Steinberg take you through how to do this. And then it will make your Cubase Pro 11 license that's on your e-licensor not upgradable. So that will happen in the e-licensor control center. You might have a bit of an issue where this doesn't happen. What I found was that by cleaning up the e-licensor memory and doing the maintenance task in e-licensor control center, that helped me, that allowed Cubase Pro 11 to become not upgradable. So that means you can run Cubase Pro 11 at the same time as Cubase Pro 12. Then you need to go into your Steinberg Download Assistant. You log in uh, via the Steinberg website to your download access code for Cubase Pro 12, and then you can download Cubase Pro 12 and all the additional sound uh, content that comes with Cubase Pro 12. I haven't downloaded it all myself even yet, as you can see, I've only had this a couple of days. Once you've done that, look in the Steinberg Activation Manager. Now this is their replacement basically for the e-licensor. And then you find Cubase Pro 12 in there where you can activate and deactivate it. Now you can actually run Cubase Pro 12 on a couple of computers and use the Steinberg Activation Manager on both of them, as long as you don't use Cubase Pro 12 on two computers at the same time. You've got to choose which one you want to use it on. So that's a nice little touch. You don't have to buy two licenses to run Cubase Pro 12 on two different computers, which is a bit of a result. So how does Cubase Pro 12 itself actually run and how does it differ to Cubase Pro 11? Well, to be honest with you, I didn't really have any trouble with Cubase Pro 11. I found it to be pretty smooth. I found it to work quite well. Steinberg seemed to have added a lot of new features and I recommend checking out the Steinberg website. For example, you have things that are coming in a future update, allowing you to apparently uh, mix music in Dolby Atmos Music. I think there's quite a few additional options for uh, MIDI controllers. You have the ability to use uh, MIDI over Bluetooth and it looks um, a little bit more streamlined, just little things, stuff like that. In terms of writing music with it, I've loaded in a few of my older projects that I had from Cubase Pro 11. I'm getting very similar performance, to be honest with you. Um, I think it's, it's mainly it's been that licensing update. But as I said, there are additional things that Steinberg have added. I'm most interested in looking into that Dolby Atmos for music mixing, which is coming soon. And Steinberg kind of had to do that because, of course, uh, Apple added Dolby Atmos music mixing in Logic Pro. So whilst this does mean we can go dongle free for Cubase, uh, VSL are still working on their new copy protection system which looks like it's going to use iLock Cloud or a physical iLock. But this is a great step forward, especially the fact you can now have Cubase Pro 12 on two computers under one license, which is rather good. So I can have Cubase Pro 12 on my desktop computer, Cubase Pro 12 on my laptop computer. The great thing is you don't have to worry about breaking or losing your e-licensor anymore. This one, for example, broke, I probably broke about three or four of them in my time and it was starting to do my head in. It always seemed unfair to me that pirates and hackers that were hacking the dongle system, I didn't have to use any copy protection, were the ones that seemed to be in a more advantageous position. So with this new Steinberg activation system, everything seems a heck of a lot smoother. And it all seems pretty good so far. Well, take care of yourselves. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you think of Cubase Pro 12 and the new Steinberg activation system in the comments below. I'll see you soon.